Hello my dear children, how are you all? I hope you all are safe and healthy at home. So today I am your storyteller Shabana and I am going to tell you a story about a fairy. Yes, and the story name is The Lost Fairy. This fairy is lost in woods. Let's find out how did she get back to her home? A strong wind had blown fairy sparkle through the woods. Now I am lost, she gasped. She was very worried that she has lost her way back home. The wind had blown very fast and she flew and she came to woods. And now she could not find her way. I'll help you find your way back to your fairy home. Promise Dapple the Fawn. Who was he? He was a baby deer. His name was Dapple. He said, I will help you to find a way back to your fairy home. And then Dapple led Fairy Sparkle to a nearby clearing. Lots of fairies lived here. He explained, this is not my home. This is where Fairy Queen Majesty lives. And she, he's told to Fairy Sparkle and I shall help you child said Majestic Fairy. So where did, where did Dapple get Sparkle? He got to Majestic Fairy, Fairy Queen and this Fairy Queen said don't worry I will help you to find out your home and then they all left. The queen joined the search for Fairy Sparkle's home. I'll come too, called the jingle. Who's the jingle? The gome. He said, I will also come along with you to find Sparkle's home. I might find somewhere better to fish. I never catch any fish in this pond. So, he always catches the fish in the pond, but he does not get any fish. So, he took his fishing rod and he started walking along with Dapple, Sparkle and the Queen Fairy. It was a long walk down the windy path. It was very windy. The air was blowing very fast and they all were walking in that windy part and everyone began to feel tired. They all were very tired walking and walking and walking for so long. Right on my back called Silver the Gentle Unicorn. The gentle unicorn, this unicorn was very gentle. He said, ride on my back. I fly you to Sparkle's home. Everybody said, that should make a journey easier. And they all sat back on unicorn's back and they started flying. Soon, the owl knew where to find fairy Sparkle's home. But it's empty, wailed the fairy Sparkle. The owl knew the home of Sparkle. But when Sparkle went and she saw inside, she found the home was empty. And she started crying, oh, the house is empty. Everybody has left me and gone. See, what is she telling? She's telling all my sister must have flown away. I still don't have a home. And she was very sad that all her sister has 
flown away and she nobody is there in the house. The house was empty. Now what will happen? Let's see. Just then, the other fairies came back. So that immediately the, all the fairies came back to their house. They were searching for fairy sparkle everywhere. That's why the home was empty. But when they came and they saw that fairy sparkle was near their house only. I'm home at last, chuckled the lost fairy. It's time for party, cheered her friends. So all her friends cheered, yay! Fairy Sparkle is back home. Now let's have a party. So who all were Fairy Sparkle's friends? Yes, Dapple the Fawn, Owl, then this Jingle, the Dome, and the Queen Fairy. Yes, my dear children, they all helped Sparkle to find her way back home. And then Sparkle thanked everyone to help her to find her home. So I hoped you liked this story my dear children and you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.